Hey guys, happy March and happy one year booktube anniversary week to me! So that means that Monday through Friday, a video every single day. So to start this week of festivities, let's do my February reviews. <music> to keep up with the monthly reviews instead of the monthly wrap-ups, but this month is more of a wrap-up seeing as I already have full video reviews of half of the books I read, which sounds awesome, right? Except I only read four books and one of them doesn't really count. February is a short month, okay? Give me a break. The first book that I read this month was Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear. Emerald Green is the third in a YA series that was originally written in German but translated by Athena Bell and it is about time travel and romance and friendship, but mostly romance. And I have nothing against romance, I just have something against this romance. It is hella abusive. But I do have a full series review for you if you click on the picture and it will take you to that. Please go watch it if you want to know more about this series because I'm just generally sick of talking about it. So I gave this book two out of five stars because it was a disappointing conclusion to a kind of mediocre series anyway. Next up I read Once Upon a More Enlightened Time by James Finn Gardner. This is the sequel to Politically Correct Bedtime Stories, which I have not read, but this was super cheap on Amazon so I just bought it and read it and I really enjoyed it. As you guys know, I am super into feminism and this book was like a perfect fairy tales for feminism and it was so great, except I think he's making fun of us. But I think it's kind of good to laugh at yourself, and I think this book is perfect for that, and like social justice activists to kind of read and be like, ha ha, this is, this is really good, and yeah, I can see, I can see we can go over the top sometimes. But I'm just going to ignore the fact that it's probably satire, and just enjoy the fact that these are really awesome. My favorite title from this book is Sleeping Person of Better Than Average Attractiveness. Sleeping Beauty, oh, it's so great. <laughs> Overall, I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads. Next up, I read Adaption by Melinda Lowe, which I did a full review on, and I would really appreciate it if you would click on the book and go watch that. So super, super, super quick summary. A girl and a boy are trapped in an airport in Arizona. There's a flight ban because all these birds keep hitting planes causing them to crash. And this has happened three times within the last hour and so they decide that they are just going to rent a car and try to get back to San Francisco. However, their car crashes and they wake up in a hospital and they are asked to sign a form saying that they will never ever talk about the medical assistance they got at this strange hospital in the desert. So there's a really big mystery and then this girl meets another girl and they, they kind of fall for each other and then there's like this love triangle but like it's it's not your typical love triangle because it's a bisexual love triangle and I don't know I just I really like this book it was it was very much your average YA sci-fi dystopian paranormal book but I I really enjoyed it so I gave it four out of five stars okay and then this morning I finished another book even though it is March right now as I film this but I'm making a new rule whatever books that I finish before I film my reviews goes in my reviews I don't care if it's March just shh, shh. anyway this morning I finished up Cress by Marissa Meyer and just let me tell you I have fallen head over heels in love with this series. I remember last year I read Cinder and I didn't like it. Like I thought it was way too predictable and it was just blah. But then the second book really drew me in. Like I had like a guilty pleasure reading the second book. I was like oh I probably shouldn't like this but I really do. And then this book just blew me away. It blew me away. I can now unabashedly say that I love this series. If you don't know what the series is about it is a sci-fi take on um, a lot of different fairy tales which you know I love. The first book is about a cyborg version of Cinderella and then the second one is a retelling of the Little Red Riding Hood except the Little Red Riding Hood and Wolf fall in love. They fall in love. And this one is about Rapunzel who is trapped in a satellite in space and is a hacker. I love what Marissa Meyer is doing with these books. You would think with every book adding so many new characters that it would get really busy because although it is in third person it, you know takes people in different places and talks about them every few chapters so there's just a whole lot going on 
but she like put them all together in this spaceship and they're like a team and they all have their different like special skills and they all work together. It's like Buffy in space, you guys. I gave this book five out of five stars, which this is my first five star book of the year. I feel a little weird about giving it that honor because it is, you know, the third in a YA series, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. This was really good. It reminded me of Buffy. It's in space. I just, it's perfect. So that is all I read in the month of February. Please let me know if you've read any of these books or if you want to read them or what, but, but all the things. Just tell me all the things in the comments. And I will see you guys tomorrow with my March TBR. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.